Creating an environment for and in Blender is one of the hardest endeavors in the 3D industry. In this course, I'll be teaching you the basics of creating a 3D environment. The same techniques that are used in AAA titles and Hollywood movies. You will finish with a practical 3D environment and a set of skills to tackle any 3D environment in the future. This course requires no plugins and no paid products. You can start working with the default Blender and the default Gaia software. So without any delays, let's go into the intro. As you can see on my current viewports, I have an environment rendered in Blender in daylight. Now, how do you exactly create a, an environment like that on your own? without any hassle? Well, the answer is using a software such as Gaia or World Machine. Gaia is newer and that's what we are going to be using. There is a free version of the software that you can use. It comes with some limitations, but you can definitely use it to make something as good as this. Do not forget to check the assets that you can download. I will leave all links necessary there. Throughout this course, we will also learn how to achieve realistic outdoor lighting for a scene like this. We will not be using an HDRI. We will be using exclusively what's available with Blender. So if we go to the World tab here, we can input our preferred daylight time. Uh, if we input 8, for example... Let's input four. Okay, it's completely dark. Five, six. Uh, let's input um, 18. Okay, let's input 15. So you can choose your own daytime um, if you like, or simply use the daytime that I'm using, which is 7.6 or 0.9 rather. Uh, we will also be setting up the camera uh, for a scene like that. Um, as far as the water is concerned, I will be giving you a blend file that you can download and import into your project. And without further ado, let's get into the uh, lectures. Uh, please do not forget that you can share your own project by the end of this course, and I can personally give my feedback on it. You can also rate my class using the review tab below. Uh, leave your honest opinion on the class. It helps me a lot as a Skillshare teacher. And I hope that you do just that. 